In the first video in this series, we talked about the idea of sections and breaking a page into smaller parts. In this second video, we will take a closer look at the order of those sections and why order is important. And in the next and final video, we will be laying out some actual content into those sections with some tips along the way. So now that you have your content into visually distinct sections, and that the sections all have helpful headings, the next important part to understand is the order of them. The order of these sections is important for creating a smooth experience or journey for the user. You may even call this a customer journey. A general rule to creating an effective page is that it funnels the user in some sort of way, usually into some sort of call to action. You should always start with some sort of title section at the top, then your page's content, and then some sort of call to action. Titles being ordered first is notable because titles are the most top level idea about a specific page. The order of these sections is most important on pages like the home page, service pages, or basically any page where you're trying to educate the user about your offering and sell it to them on a very first encounter level. Let's look at an example of the ordering on highwave.es. This is their home page. They start off by a hero section explaining what they do in one sentence. And then they get a bit more specific about what they do. And then they have a section for their services. And then after the services, they have featured products. Then they have this section about what it's like working with them. A bit more about their services. And then finally, a call to action. What works about this homepage is that it's ordered into a funnel. It doesn't start with a testimonial about why their services are so good before explaining what their services are to begin with, or it doesn't tell you what their projects are before even telling you who they are. Instead, it has the content into a logical order, which in an ordered way tells you what you need to know about them before finally ending in a call to action. This ordering of sections is really important to do on the homepage, but it also importantly applies to other pages where there's a lot of content. This sounds obvious, but websites do make these mistakes. Take a look at greenbridge.co.uk. Let me read this content for you. We'll take it from here. Find out what to expect from start to finish with your claim. They have a terrible hero section. It doesn't even explain what they do. You're just left to guess. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't know what they do based on that text. So without even explaining what they do, they immediately jump into listing the brands they've worked with or supplied for or partnered with, I don't know because it doesn't have a heading, which you should know the importance of if you saw the first video in this series. So the order of this website right off the bat does not make any sense. I'm sure there's something important to say about how showing the user recognizable logos creates some sort of trust, but just from a user experience standpoint, the ordering can be improved. If you're interested, they fix phones and laptops by you shipping it to them. I guess this picture is worth a thousand words and the substitution of a good user experience. Let's look at my website again, but instead of looking at the section colors, we can look at the order. First, I do what I recommend on my homepage video, which is I explain who I am, what I do, and how I can help the user right away. Then below it, I talk about myself more and who I am. Then I talk about my services, highlighting the web design part. Then I go more into detail about my service, then the client work I've done, and then reviews from those clients. Then I try to have some credibility markers showing that I post videos on YouTube in case they didn't come from my YouTube channel, which lastly funnels into conversion, which is this contact form. It mimics one of those infographics you'd see in marketing class, where it starts off with awareness, then consideration, and then purchase. And this is for good reason. A customer journey attempts to outline the most efficient path for a potential customer to do business with you. Now, I like to think of that as the logical user experience focused approach to ordering websites. Ordering rows best for user experience should be done on top level pages where you don't expect the user to know anything. Most likely if you expect the user to be in a first encounter with your website. One thing to note is that landing pages will often disregard this entire natural ordering experience because they will often have forms right in the above the fold section to encourage conversions. And this is okay because businesses need to make money. However, this leads to a strange user experience because you start by asking them to contact you and then the rest of the landing page explains the benefits, which is the opposite of an intuitive order. 
the way to create a better user experience in this situation is to basically do the awareness and consideration right in the same section the form is. So there's still some resemblance of a logical order there. And then after the form, you can continue to explain the benefits of the product or service. Look how LawnDoctor.com does it. They explain pretty much everything high level you need to know to continue with a lawn evaluation from them. And so this would be a good user experience because nothing is illogically ordered. To summarize this video, sections on a website should be logically ordered to funnel users from learning about your website to begin with to finally making some sort of call to action. Title sections should be first on pages as they are the most high level item. And that when forms break natural order, they should have some sort of top level ideas around it to make sure you properly order and introduce it. This is the end of part two. Check the description for part three. I'm putting all this content out there for free, so now for me to pay the bills. If you want to support me on Patreon, link in the description. If you want to get your website critiqued by me, link in the description. If you want to be a better web designer or developer, subscribe for more videos.